Okay. Okay, thanks everyone. Creighton has joined us. And first we're gonna have a few questions from Marcus Zagorowski. Use the raised hand feature. And we will call on you and we're gonna go first with Matt DeMarinis, White and Blue Review. Matt, go ahead. Thanks, John. Hey, Marcus. Uh, Chuck Harris had been hot the last, you know, down the stretch of the season here and last night against you guys. What was the uh, game plan defensively to slow him down and break his rhythm? Yeah, you know, I thought uh, Denzel and Reap did a great job on him, but um, I think our ball screen defense was, you know, really, really good versus, versus him. You know, we were going to jimmer him, meaning, you know, bring our big out and, you know, stay there until he picks it up. You know, and, and I thought Christian and Ryan did a great job of, you know, making it tough for him as well as Reef and Denzel. But uh, it was a great effort for us on both ends of the floor. John Neotella. He has put up 93 points on him in Omaha, and I, I'm sure you knew they were going to make some adjustments. How, how did you try to tweak your game plan at all, or did you, in terms of getting ready for, for, for playing them again five days later? I mean, you know, this – our coach staff does a great job of, you know, telling us, you know, how they're going to guard us, whether they're going to switch, whether they're going to, um, you know, heads the screen or, you know, just try and drag it out. And, um, you know, we had a game plan for all three of those. And, you know, we just have a lot of unselfish guys who just make the simple, easy read. And, you know, I think that's what we did tonight and that's what we need to do moving forward. Go Nugent. Hey Marcus, uh, curious about that start, uh, twenty-three to seven to uh, to begin the game. Why were you guys so good out of the gate? You know, I, th I just think you know, you know, everyone in that locker room was really hungry to you know get going, you know, get you know playing playing one of the you know greatest arenas in the world, and you know, I just think we had some juice going, and you know, that's what we got to do going forward. You know, it's March, and um, you know, having that mentality early on, and then it carries throughout the game, and you know, for sure. We're going to do two more for Marcus, Tim Best, Igloo Podcast. Marcus, uh, I don't know if you know this, but in your last three games against Butler, you're 16 for 19 from behind the arc. What is it about playing against Butler that just brings out the best in you from, from three-point land? Um, I just think, you know, my teammates do a great job of, you know, finding me when I'm open. And uh, I think, you know, Coach calls great sets for me to – get some separation from, you know, the, the person guarding me. And then just, like I said, playing with a lot of unselfish guys who, you know, just make the right play, you know, every single time down the floor. And, it, you know, sometimes it's going to be my night. Sometimes it's going to be Mitch's night. Sometimes it's going to be Denzel. You know, it, that's just the way our offense is. And, you know, it's really fun to play like that. Appreciate it, Marcus. Last question from Jacob Schwartz, voice report. Hey, Marcus, congratulations on uh, tonight's win. And obviously, we can't go into uh, exact details of what's been going on this week, but I got to ask, what makes Coach McDermott an elite coach in this conference? You know, he's not only a great coach, he's a great, you know, person to have in your corner, great role model for all of our guys. You know, he's, you know, he, he, he cares about basketball, but he really cares about, you know, our, you know, me and my, my teammates off the court, you know, he cares about how we're doing in school. You know, he keeps in contact with our families. You know, he's just a you know great mentor to have. And, you know, he's just a great coach. You know, there's, there's, there's nothing else to it. You know, he's a great coach on the floor. Someone he'll be in my corner for the rest of my life. And, you know, it's great to have him, you know, on our sideline. I feel really good when he's, when he's out there uh, running the show. Marcus, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. We'll have coach in just a second here. Okay, we're joined by Coach Greg McDermott. Creighton is going to be making their third trip to the semifinals tomorrow. Uh, Coach, if you'd like to make an opening statement and then we can have a few questions. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, really, really proud of our guys. Um, you know, they, their preparation was really good this week. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously, we're really connected tonight on both ends of the floor, uh, you know, sharing the basketball with 22 assists and, and then you know, trying to trying to disrupt with what Butler was trying to do offensively and get stops and get out in transition, which we thought was really critical. So, 
it's a, it's a special group of guys and uh, they've had a lot of success uh, the last two years in this league. And uh, I really wanted them to enjoy tonight uh, and, and enjoy March. Uh, March was taken away from them except for a half of basketball in the garden last year for us. So uh, the fact that they, you know, got this opportunity to get back out there tonight uh, in advance, I couldn't be more proud. Questions, Matt Diemer, and it's your first, white and blue. Macano, Macano and Antoine's uh, kind of struggled to find a little bit of a consistent rhythm here in the second half of the season. What, what did you feel like he did so well tonight to get into that rhythm early and stay in that in the second half? You know, he he, uh, he slowed himself down a little. You know, really made some some nice plays with the basketball for his teammates. I mean, four assists in 12 minutes or whatever he played. Uh, made a couple nice plays when he got in the paint for himself. Uh, but he's just you know taking his time, and uh, you know he has he has the ability to impact the game. And I thought, you know, besides what he did on offense, I thought he, he when DJ went down, uh, you know, when they hit heads, I, I, I thought he came in and provided some defensive spark as well. So uh, the bench was critical tonight. You know, it, it, it helped us extend the lead in the first half and in the second half. Uh, but, you know, to outscore their bench 34 to 10 and for us to be able to not log huge minutes for some of our starters was really good for us. John the Otawa, Omaha. Greg, your guys definitely look like they're having a lot of fun. I wonder, did were you worried at all that, that they may not be able to enjoy it? Just, I mean, what you guys have been through the last week, but also the pandemic being, you know, cooped up in a hotel. Like, it's just a weird set of circumstances. I wonder what you thought about going in. Yeah, you know, we've it. had a lot of conversations, obviously, over the course of the last 10 days, uh, especially in New York, more one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, you know, just continuing to kind of work through this process. Uh, but the message I left all of them with is you have to enjoy this. Uh, you know, life's too short and uh, you, you've got a great opportunity in front of you. And, and uh, you know, I, I want, I want we're, we're at our best when we're hooting and hollering and smiling and laughing. Uh, that's when this team functions the best. And I think you, I think you saw that a lot of that last, or a lot of that tonight, both how the bench reacted when the starters were on the floor, and then you saw how our starters reacted uh, when some of our uh, our walk-ons were on the floor at the end of the game when they were making plays and hustle plays. Uh, you know, we we've built this program on culture, and to have good culture, you have to have good people, and 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 I have good people, and and that's why uh, we've been able to get ourselves through a very difficult situation. Joe Nugent, you're next, Joe. It's a great start, obviously, 23 to 7. Do you think the things that you were just talking about is why you guys were able to, to jump out to that, to that good, good start? Was, was it tied into that, or was it more basketball-related? Yeah, you know, I think, obviously, we played really good basketball, and, and uh, we were able to establish some pace uh, Saturday in that game against Butler. We thought that was really critical again tonight, especially with them playing an overtime game yesterday, uh, to really try to turn up that heat and get out in transition and try to make some things happen. And that starts on the defense, man. You have to get stops first. And I thought our guys were able to do that. We'll go one more question for Coach. Matt DeMarinis, you get the last one. Lucky Mac, you. I know you've had, <laughs> right, yeah. Mac, you know uh, you had a long, close relationship with Steve Murphy. I was just wondering if you noticed the player's reaction to when Andrew hit that shot, that you kind of mobbed him and kind of what that yeah. moment was like. Well, finally, a Merfelt made a big basket at a critical time, so it was good to see. Uh, but no, that's a that's a really proud moment uh, for a really special family. Uh, you know, Murph's Murph's been with me uh, from the from day one here at Creighton for eleven years, and I've you know I've watched Andrew grow up, um, and and obviously, you know their 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 family um, is is really close to ours. So to to have that. To have that happen is is pretty cool, and and to see the way his teammates supported supported him, and then I think you know how how the team and the coaching staff, uh, you know, was so happy for Steve when that happened as well. So that group of guys has meant a ton to our program, and they get us ready every night. And it, it was really fun to see you know several of those guys go out and and make an impact tonight on this floor. It's something they'll never forget. Mike, thanks for your time. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.